Welcome back to Basics Becca. I'm Becca and I'm here to help you with your soccer training. Today we're going to talk about two things, getting the ball on the ground and giving goes. You have a better chance of controlling the ball on the ground than in the air. So my brother and I are going to teach you how to control the ball on the ground. To get the ball on the ground, we got to trap it. Here's the chest trap. Here's a thigh trap. Here's a shin trap. And here's a foot trap. One thing you notice is that the body always gives a little. If the body does not give or absorb the shock of the ball, it will bounce off of you and the opponent will get it. The shin trap is an exception to the rule only because the ball is forced down at the right angle in front of you. Give and goes are one of the most important moves you'll ever learn in soccer. The object of the give and go is to move the ball around the opponent with two touches. Right now, you are in the place of the defender. That is a give and go. Now here's a look at a couple of give and goes in a game situation. Did you see that? The defender's attention follows the ball, allowing our friend Matthew to sneak past them for a better position. Where was your attention when you were the defender? Once again, by the time the defender knows what's happening, the give and go has done its job. Give and goes take a lot of practice. When doing the give and go, remember one thing. You're giving the ball to your teammate and then going around the defender to a better position. That's all for Basics with Becca today. Practice hard, play hard.